Good morning, my name is Taven Royster. I'm a realtor here in Nashville, Tennessee. I actually grew up in Sumner County, just north of Nashville. And what we're gonna do this morning is we're gonna take a quick look at the market. We're, talk we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on and how interest rates and inflation and stagflation and wars are all affecting the real estate market. So let's jump into it real quick. The first screen I like to look at every single week is this one. And what this is, is it is a snapshot picture of everything that is either active, coming soon, under contract, or under contract not showing in all of Sumner County, under 500,000, and these are focused around site-built homes. So it doesn't include manufactured homes and things of that nature. Um, so we've got 453 listings to see here. There are a lot more properties coming on the market in part because school has just let out, people are, have been preparing their homes to put to market, and so now more inventory is coming on, uh, but also in part because more sellers are deciding to sell, and it looks like days on market are inching up just a little bit, so that's actually great for buyers, and for sellers, it's a negligible change, so you're still in great shape. So let's take a look real quick at some isolated areas. Again, this is all of Sumner County. You can see that in Hendersonville, there's lots of opportunity, plenty of homes active, listed on the market, and also under contract. The under contract still showing homes are always worth taking a look at, in my opinion. Um, it's great to be able to bring a backup offer and have an opportunity to still get a property. If you come to Gallatin, there's a lot of inventory that's available. We're gonna come up this line up through White House, and you can see that there's quite a few properties in that area as well. And then we come into Portland, right here off of Highway 52, there's always some great opportunity. And uh, even out towards Westmoreland, and even the Beth Bethpage areas, we're starting to see some properties hit. I'm also seeing some more um, some more auctions, so that's interesting. But there, there's plenty of inventory. You can see over here on the right side of the screen, these are the days on market. A bunch of these active homes have been on the market and are not necessarily selling in a day. Uh, still, if you have a pristine home, well-staged, well-marketed, well-upgraded, it's gonna sell fast and it's gonna go for, for a lot. So that's, you know, for any sellers that are in that market, you're still in great shape. You're gonna sell it in a day. I don't know if that's really what's best for a seller to sell it that fast, but that's what's happening. Um, and so we've got some coming soons that are coming to the market and I'm pretty excited about seeing more of these as well. All positive things. Everything's moving forward with spring and summer. It's gonna be really busy. I'm pretty excited about it. Now let's jump over to InfoSparks just to take a look at trends. Now what this is, is we're gonna take a look at all price ranges, single family homes, all bedrooms, all bathrooms, all build dates, and we're looking at the entire MLS in orange, Sumner County in gray, Robertson County in the teal, and Davidson County, poor Davidson County, they got like the, the ugly yellow. It's an okay color. All right, um, and so what we are seeing is uh, year to date, we're seeing double digit increases in values in these areas. Robertson County is still an amazing place because you can jump right over, if we go over here and we look at the map view, you can jump right over um, 65 and end up in Robertson County along these same lines and you can get a great property for a great value. So don't forget about that if you've been searching in Sumner County and you haven't been able to find what you're looking for, jump over and look around in Robertson County. You may find what you, uh, what you need. And so we're gonna jump into bankrate.com. Bankrate.com is showing that the 30-year uh, fixed mortgage is only 5.48%. That's actually uh, great news. The Federal Reserve, there's something that's really important to remember. The Federal Reserve, there's a lot of news about the Federal Reserve is increasing their target rate. Their target rate back in 2019 was around 2% already. Right now, it's only, I think, one and a quarter. And so that target rate will continue to, to inch up, is, it will likely continue to inch up. And as it does, it could affect mortgage rates, but it's not a guarantee. So keep that in mind as a buyer or a seller. So what we see here is we've got a great picture of the market, a great way to start the week. We can see that there's lots of inventory that's available. Houses are still selling fast. It's a great market, whether you're 
trying to buy, sell. There's still some opportunities for investment properties as well. You just got to know where to look. If you or anyone you know have been looking for a home or are considering buying a home and they're not already working with a real estate professional, give me a call. I'd love to have the, have the opportunity to interview for the position. I hope you all have a great week. Thanks for watching our videos and uh, leave your comments below if you have questions or reach out to me directly. Thanks. See ya.